Uh, next patient is uh, rectal cancer um, v13 75 year old man was seen by your st6 in the two week fate colloquial clinic with a change of bowel habit a tumor is found six centimeter from the anal verge how will you manage this patient perform a pr and proctoscopy to access the tumor site anterior and posterior to see how the length fixity circumferential obstructing take a biopsy for histology to confirm the diagnosis and uh, counsel the patient regarding suspicion for a tumor request standard pre-op investigation assess his fitness for treatment performance status cardiovascular respiratory history blood fbc UNEs, lft group and safe colonoscopy three percent synchronous tumor and 25 percent synchronous adenomas so rectal cancer protocol mri assess the t stage assess the crm uh, assess the from extend from the anal verge and uh, see any emvi and any local lymph node and tissue involvement and uh, ct chest abdomen and uh, pelvis and uh, trans rectal ultrasound scan is considering local therapy discuss in mdt there's an indication for neurogen therapy and local exion versus radical cancer resection Mm, would a ultrasound liver ultrasound be adequate for the staging no ultrasound sensitivity is only 55 percent ct is 72 percent and uh, pet is 90 percent mri 76 percent when would you consider pre-op tumor radiation in this gentleman why do we give it pre-op rather than post-op so i would consider uh, the newer joint therapy of the tumor is t3 n0 or n1 or t4 and there was a threat in margin tumor or lymph node within one millimeter from the crm or multiple involved uh, lymph nodes are the presence of extramural venous invasion and would also consider if the tumor was anteriorly and the patient is a high bmi male the general rectal cancer group established a large randomized control comparing the pre-op versus post-op chemotherapy therapy in stage 2 and stage 3 cancer although there was no difference in the overall survival there was a significant reduction both in local recurrence and treatment oxygen in the pre-op group it is also very given preoperatively to downstay the tumor, increase the tumor resectability, and give a high rate of sphincter preservation after surgery. A complete pathological response is achieved in 10 to 25 percent of the patient. We we give it preop as it is more effective. The patients are fitter and more likely to tolerate it. The tissues are better oxygenated, thus the radiotherapy more effective. Furthermore, there are no issues with the wound healing after APER. What is total mesorectal exion? So it is a, it is a precise dissection in the visceral rectal fascia and the parietal fascia visceral is covering the null of the rectum and mesorectum and parietal overlying the pelvic structure it was produced by professor Heald from Basingstoke and it leaves an intact mesorectum and the best opportunity for negative crm and uh, distal margins local recurrence is three percent in five years and survival is 80 percent it should be performed for all mid rectal and low rectal cancer including aper often with the apr however the addition of a levator wrap is considered Mm, ELAP extra elevator E extra elevator A P E R A P. What is the difference between a high and low anterior section and when would you use a covering loop me A high anterior section is done for tumor above the petroleum reflection and low anterior section is done for tumor below the petroleum reflection. An alternative distinction is a high anterior section uh, more than ten centimeter from the uh, anastomosis is more than ten centimeters from the anal word and low anterior section is between six to 10 and ultra low anterior section when the anastomosis is uh, less than 6 centimeters from the anal verge. I would consider a covering ileostomy for all the low anterior section patients, especially in men, and after radiation in patient alveolar and anastomosis are technically difficult in anastomosis. And for certain patient factors like immunosuppressed uh, smokers, renal failure, uh, moderate to severe cardiovascular disease. What nerves do you encounter during an anterior section? At what points might they be at risk of being uh, damaged? So, first of all, the nerve the pelvic parasympathetic nerves nervi erigentes originate from s2 s3 and s4 ventral rimae root join the hypogastric nerves which are sympathetic of pelvic side walls to form the inferior hypogastric plexus pelvic autonomic nerve plexus is called inferior hypogastric plexus so this is there is a risk of damage during the lateral wall dissection and near the lateral ligament nerves close to the middle hemorrhoidal artery injury results in erectile dysfunction impaired vaginal lubrication and uh, voiding difficulty and uh, point um, point point parasympathetic erection pelvic sympathetic nerves originate from t12 to l3 ventral roots forming pre-aortic superior hypogastric plexus 
Previously, we said inferior hypogastric now it's the superior hypogastric plexus distal to the aortic bifurcation. The superior hypogastric plexus form the hypogastric nerves. Mm, there is a risk of uh, damage. Uh, there is a risk of damage during the high ligation of IMA during uh, dissection on the sacral promontory and presacral region. So injury results in the increased bladder tone, decreased bladder capacity, warding difficulty, and uh, impaired ejaculation and uh, loss of uh, you know loss of vaginal lubrication and dyspareunia and shoot ejaculation that is sympathetic nerves uh, so the dissection near the seminal vesicle and prostate can damage the periprostatic plexus leading to mixed parasympathetic injury thank you